Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 video. And yes, yes, y'all, we finally arrived. We are about to check out GM mode. I'm still not looking forward to it. But as you can probably tell, if you can see like right below me on the screen, yes, we are up to patch 1.09. And uh yeah, I'm not really I'm not really sure how that's gonna help us with GM mode. But I guess we'll find out once we get into it. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into GM mode. But first, intro. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we are about to pick our GM. And I cannot hear Stephanie McMahon because we are in creator safe mode. So we'll go ahead and we'll skip this. And yes, I want to use a custom superstar to be a GM. Uh, let's see, decisions, decisions. You know what? I have this version of Alice Anderson. We're gonna use her as our GM. So yeah, we're gonna go with Alice Anderson as GM. We're gonna get the beginner's luck. We're gonna choose our brand. Let's go with Raw. Opponent type, uh, AI. GM opponent. Oh, so we can choose our GM opponent. Okay. Do we want to go? Do we want to go against Shane O'Mac, William Regal, Sonya Deville, Adam Pearce? You know what? Let's go against Sonya Deville. Yeah, she, she can have SmackDown. And yes, we're gonna keep it in journalist mode because you know we're gonna try to make this quick and painless. Uh, duration 15, 25, 50. We'll do 50 weeks. Draft pull custom. Um, draft settings. We'll keep it manual. And okay, now how do we move on? Oh, select custom draft draft pull. All right. So custom draft pulls allow you to take control over who appears. In your my gm season you'll have the ability to edit each superstar's value values which may result in higher or lower contract clause edit wisely okay i want to add my custom superstars So yeah, we definitely gotta add my boy, my my dude, who is me. Yeah, we wanna put my other creations in here. The custom NWO DX characters, they're gonna stay out because I don't know if we're gonna be able to do a faction thing. Yeah, we want Sting in there. Yeah, we'll put the um, My Rise characters in there. That Ray Smith, that's actually El Mago Jr. I just I just customized him, make him a, a, an original character. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put uh, Josie Jane in there. Oh yeah, we'll make Tasia Meadows an active superstar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we'll put Fanny in there. We'll put Cole Quinn in there. We'll put Brook Brooklyn Von Braun in there. You know what's funny? So Brook Brooklyn Von Braun was a hidden character, a downloadable character, but yet she didn't appear in any of the um of the My Rise stories, which was weird. Uh, let's see. We'll put Robin Ray in there. Yeah, I did customize Robin Ray and Tasia. We'll put Cody in there. Yeah, best believe your boy has Cody Rhodes. Gotta put Cody Rhodes up in there. Let's go now. And 
Bunny Valentine. Yes, we'll put her in there. She's a custom superstar. Congrahita Loca. Living the Vida Loca, as I like to call her. She could be in there. Wait, there's already a version of me that's active, right? Oh, no, I'm not active. Well, we need to make sure I'm active. Barry Brewer. I don't think she's fully ready yet. I don't think I gave her a move set yet. No, I did give her a move set. I just haven't done her entrance. Ahmed Christopher. He's a custom. I don't think he's fully ready yet. Amanda. She can go in there. is good to go I'll call it cast pull that way I know what it is start with a budget of two million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars damn uh, GMs will take turns drafting one after the other starting with with player one there will be eight rounds of drafting after the eighth round drafting becomes optional GMs can opt out or draft until they are out of cash yeah I don't think we want to do that tip GMs can press the right analog stick to get recommendations on who to draft. You can also press X to get more information about a superstar. Okay. The red brand kicking things off with the first pick. When thinking about your choices, consider the role and class of your superstar. A superstar can play the role of a good guy or a bad guy. Baby face or heel. Um, and to get the best matchups, you should pair them against each other. Okay. Building your roster. Speaking of matchups, you'll also want to pair different classes with each other. Get the best ratings. Giants versus Cruisers. Bruisers versus Fighters. Specialists versus anyone. Okay. Building your roster. You'll find the goods and bads when you mix and match different classes. Uh, so make sure to take notes. Superstar... Superstar star power will determine how well they draw crowds and viewers. Even if you book a bad match, fans will still come pouring in if the superstar has enough star power. Throughout the season, you can raise your superstar's popularity by putting them in matches, doing promos, or using power cards. The higher their popularity, the better their matches will be rated and the higher their star power will be all right but don't overdo it superstars get tired too keep a close eye on their stamina and uh the lower it goes the higher the chance of injury not booking them on shows will help them uh recover their stamina let's see do i want to get john cena on raw You know what? Let's get Roman. All your drafted superstars will appear over here. Make sure to keep an eye on different types of superstars you draft. An ideal roster will, will have a good mix of males and females, good guys and bad guys in varied classes. Check the bottom to see your totals. Alright. Feeling a little lost, not sure who to choose. Don't worry, Gulak got you. At any point, you can press right analog stick to quickly go <clears throat> to the superstars that we think would be a good fit for your roster. John Cena, Becky Lynch. Got 
Keith Lee. I'll take Owens. Okay, where are my customs at? Okay. Because I want my guy. Ooh, I'm a heel here? Well, fuck it. I think I want to draft one more and we'll call it good. I think we need more women's. You know what? We need a giant. Let's get Naya. Let's get Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I think we want the women's. Let's get Rhea Ripley. And I think we can move on, right? Sort draft and draft. Confirm. Seems like a pretty decent roster. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, see messages and conversations to start every week. You'll be going through your unread messages. You'll you may receive messages from the commissioner, from opposing GMs, or from superstars on your roster. And many times a conversation will lead to a promise. Uh, you'll find those in your journal. If you ever forget, make sure to check since each promise should be fulfilled within a certain time. Okay. Hey, it's Triple H. Tonight is the night, the debut show. We have high hopes for you. All right. I was born for this. I'll try not to let you down. I was born for this. Good. We've gone ahead and added 50K to your war chest to ensure that your debut is a hit. Make it an amazing show. All right. Selecting your champion. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make Roman the champion since he's currently the champion. For the women's champion, I'll choose. We'll make it Naya. Yeah. The bloodline be running the roost right now. Welcome to the GM Hub. Up top, you'll find the most important information: the week, your rank, how many fans you have, and your budget. As you begin to book things, you'll see uh, your show costs go up. Make sure to always stay under your budget. Will do. Speaking of booking things, the first tab will house the most important part of being GM. Booking your show uh, each. Booking your show every week, you'll receive a match card quality score based on matches you booked. Okay. So, booking your show. Every show will have a number of matches that must be booked. Each time you book a match, you see it. You'll see it uh, displayed as a fight card on the right side. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. You can also book multiple promos per show. These are optional, but I encourage you to make use of all your superstars. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's book a promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, participant. Let's make it... Let's make it Cody. Cody's a baby face. He's gonna call out Roman. Wait a minute. So Cody calls out Roman. There we go. Cody Rose sk promo skills at level two? I, f 
find that hard to believe. A uh, chance to begin a rivalry or increase the level of an existing rivalry between the two superstars involved. Okay. And so, let's save promo. So, my opening match. I think we'll have the women kick it off. I think what we'll do is we'll have... Oh, they're all baby faces. Most of them, well, yeah, pretty much every woman on the roster is a baby face. I need one to turn heel. So, let's see here. We'll do... We'll have Nia fight. She's going to be a fighting champion. We'll have her take on Becky Lynch. Title match? No. Interference? No. It's gonna be straight up. I don't wanna like overwhelm it, so. And then we'll do a promo. Someone's gonna turn heel. Roll change. Let's see, for the guys, I have three heels and three baby faces, so that is balanced. But the women's. I need someone to be heel. Rhea Ripley just turned heel in real life, so we'll have her turn heel. Yeah. Her promo skills are at four, so that should be good. Oh, you know what I could do? Interference. Let's see who's. Okay, Edge is the face. We'll have me interfere. So I'm the heel. But wait a minute. If I'm running in. Um, wait a minute, how do I go to the messages, because, why does it say failed commissioner goal? You know what, let me change participants, let's do Owens instead. Run in. We'll have it be me. Run in. But wait, am I doing a run in for Owens or am I doing it for Rollins? Because maybe I should choose Rollins as far as the run in. Right? Because then it shows like I'm on like someone's side. Yeah, let me try that. See how that plays out. If that turns me face, then oh well. And now the main event. I think the main event should be... Fighter and Specialist. Main event should be Balor and Edge. I think that'll be fire. <clears throat> See, here is your uh, snapshot where you can get a quick overview of everything booked or not booked this week. This will be your last chance to make any changes before you confirm your booking start the show so if you're going to make them back out and make them now uh, I think I think we is good to go so we got achievement show must go on welcome to your show here you can choose to simulate spectate or even play matches okay this is where viewers will come to rate the matches promos and rate the matches and promos you booked don't be surprised if they're harsh critics yeah kind of like how it'd be on youtube but anyway uh if you're in a rush feel free to simulate the entire show by pressing y all right uh yeah i think we'll simulate And they 
had a better show. Damn. All right, so SmackDown is leading right now. Hopefully we can turn that around. So now we in Tampa, Florida. So let me start by saying it's all right. You didn't get the first in the ratings. You're still learning. There's a lot to take in. Okay. I should have been first. Yeah, it's a learning process. Utilize all your superstars to build the potential of the brand. Everyone has a part to play. Keep in mind that you don't have to outdo the other brands every single week. Big part of this job is building towards a killer pay-per-view. Those are the biggest wins. Those are the biggest wins can be can be made. Okay. So pace yourself, build rivalries, don't burn your top stars out, make sure they can take part in your most important shows. Alright. Becky versus Naya. It's okay to match up rule breakers against each other or to have a contest between fan favorites. Just be aware that your audience will always respond best to rule breakers against fan favorites. Okay. Well, I mean, one of them was a face, one of them was a heel, so I thought that, that would work. But I, I don't know, I guess maybe that's the old school mindset. You know what I mean? That doesn't always work. How do I get to the... Oh. Sometimes you have to put matches that stray away from that formula, but remember that it's a formula for a good reason. Alrighty. See that loser JV19 attacked me. Oh, I booked... Oh, that no, no wonder I'm a heel. I use my my old version of myself. That loser JV19 attacked me during the uh, match last night. I'm not going to stand for that garbage. So I should have had me attack Owens. I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Um, okay, sure thing, Seth. Good, you mess with Rollins, you pay the price. All right. Uh, so let's see. I think I think that would be a dope opener, me versus Rollins. Actually, hold up. I think what we'll do is see Rollins is a heel. I need more. Um, faces so I think what we'll do I think we'll turn my character face yeah we'll turn my character face and then what we'll do is I'll, I'll face Rollins after that promo so we'll have Rollins versus yeah boy oh can I not do the role change first so I have uh, until I have like three weeks for them to start their shit so I think what I can do is let's see Rollins is a heel Edge is a face Owens is a face okay Rollins is a specialist I think I'll do Rollins and Owens again. And we'll keep it straight up. So we'll save that. Opener should be... Okay, let's have... Let's have Bianca Belair take on... Or what if I did a women's tag match? Why don't we do that? So we'll have Bianca and Becky versus Naya. And Rhea. Save that. Promo, uh, role change, so 
So I guess when you have people in matches, you can't have them do promos on the same card, which is weird. Uh, let's see. Main event. Let's try out Cody and Roman. Let's test that out. Promo, self promo, call out, advertising, self promo. Who do I have left here? We'll have Balor do a self promo. Winner, Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. Mediocre. Damn. Okay, turn him face. And it was good. Go. Go me. Uh, let's see. Rollins versus Owens. Okay, one and a half. All right, that's not gonna work. Okay. Finn Balor. Self promo, excellent, nice. And then Cody versus Roman. Let's see if this will work. One, two, three. Winner Cody Rhodes. Two stars. Damn, harsh crowd. All right, so. Damn, SmackDown is slaughtering us when it comes to the fans. They got 1.15, well, 1,151,000 plus fans. We only got 1,129,000 plus fans. We have Philadelphia. Have you been checking your fan and revenue breakdown after the show? It's going to give you good a good idea of what you need to adjust to maximize gains and limit losses. See, I haven't really looked to be honest. Maybe give it some thought. Your actions directly impact the show, and the show's performance will affect your revenue. Make sure to plan appropriately. All right. See here, Cody Rose cheated me in the last match. I want a rematch in the next two weeks. All right, I can do that. Good. I'll show everyone who who's the real winner this time. Remember, I run this yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I need someone to change their role. So Naya, let's see, Becky Lynch, Rhea is the heel. Okay. I need Naya to go heel. Her promo skills at three, so that should be a decent promo then. So, okay, let's go ahead and save that. Opener. Let's see. I think it should be me and Rollins as an opener. So Rollins, yep, there we go, automatically. Rollins and me, that should be the opener. We'll keep it straight up. Uh, mid card. We'll put the women in the mid card. We'll put Rhea, who is Bruiser. We'll have her take on Becky. Let's see how that goes. I need to see how many um do I need any guy to change their role? Cause I'm the only one who changed. So I'm a face, Cody's a face, Owens is a face, Edge is a face. So me, Cody, Edge. Right, me, Cody, Edge. And then for the heels. I only got two heels. You know what? I probably need to draft some people. 
Uh, let's see. How do I go to add people? Manage roster. Okay, so here's where we go to add more people. So we can sign free agents, sign legends. Let's check out the free agents. Liv Morgan, she's a cruiser. Let me get her. Tamara Tycross? Or T Cross? I'll try to say that. Uh, she is a cruiser. Get an unknown. Let's get Austin Theory. Let's see, what do we have for legends? So we have Rock, we have Scott Hall, Steve Austin, Papa Shango, Undertaker, Road Dog, Jesse James, Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, Kevin Nash, Scott, uh, the other Scott Hall. We have Xbox, Booker T, Jake the Snake, we got Mickey James. Jared King Lawler, Roddy Piper, Death Phoenix, Razor Ramon, Sign X Pac. Legends are never forgotten. We got an achievement. Yay. Alright, now let's go to book this show. Let's do a promo. We'll have Austin Theory do a promo. Oops. This should be a big match. Let's see our tag match. Let's do. Roman and X Pac. Versus Cody. Cody's gonna have a partner. Let's do. Um, let's see. We'll rest up Owens. We'll put Edge in that match. Cody and Edge versus X Pac and Roman. I think that'd be fire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So Rollins beats me two and a half and it, okay okay match hopefully that builds to a rivalry that'll be dope Naya with a world change promo and it was good yes I think she her turning heel I think that would be I think that was the right move to make all right so we got Rhea versus Becky Lynch Bruiser versus a specialist let's see how this goes Ripley wins. Mediocre. Okay. Austin Theory with a self promo. And that was just okay. It's tag match. One, two, three. Winner Cody Rhodes and Edge. Ooh, mediocre. New rivalry. Reigns, Six, and Rhodes and Edge. Okay.
All right. Well, wait a minute. If they're going to be a tag rivalry... Hmm. Ooh, we had the better show. Okay, there we were tied more or less with our mid card. We were tied with our main event, but we had the the, the stronger opener. Nice. All right, so it looks like we're we're catching up. We got you know twelve twelve hundred thousand plus fans. They have a little over twelve hundred thousand plus fans, but I think we're coming up on them though. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about that last Raw. I think that last Raw was pretty good. Detroit, Michigan, week four. Did we get another achievement? Uh, Keeper of Words. Fulfilled a promise to a superstar in GM. The big pay-per-view is coming up soon. Pay-per-view weeks are the perfect opportunity to have Big rivalries conclude and to use some of your power cards. Hmm. So you got any advice on what I should be doing? Just make sure you're planning for it. Get some rivalries ready and try not to injure your stars the week before the big event. Okay. Uh, I even have this free arena power card for you. Use it next week if you're confident that the, that the show you'll put on will be a great one. I'll be watching. All right. So no pressure, right? Uh, hey, Anderson, uh, you've been you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. Yes, you can. Uh, let's see. See, I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. Seth Rollins, this would mean a lot to me and for my career. Ha 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 What do you say? Sorry, Seth, not going to happen. See, he's reasonable, Seth. Small increase of Seth morale, perfect, and you know I won't let you down. See, thanks for the rematch against Cody Rhodes. Sure. That didn't go the way it should have, but I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, hey, Roman, I, I appreciate that positive attitude of yours. You know what I'm saying, bro? So, okay, let's put Rollins in a main event match. Oh, let me check my power cards. Three randomly selected superstars on the opposing brand. Got new achievement calling in a favor. Alrighty. So let's start with our main event. We want to put Rollins in the main event. Oh yeah, we're in the middle of a rivalry. Okay, well, I mean, at least it's in the main event spot. Hopefully that'll be good enough. I mean, he didn't say anything about the championship, so I hope this is good enough. You know what I mean? Me and him in the main event spot. So, let's go ahead and save that. And then make card. Let me see, I think I'm gonna have Roman do a promo. 
Let's do six Pac versus Cody. Do we want to do interference? Nah, we won't do no interference. We'll be straight up. And then self promo. We'll have Roman do that. For the opener, let's do a women's tag match. Let's do... Ooh, Nia and Ripley, yes. Ooh, they, maybe they want to form a tag team. That would be fire. We'll have them face off against... Let's see, she's a giant, she's a bruiser. Do we want to do the two cruisers, Liv and Tamara? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And then for the promo, we'll do a call out. Uh, Bianca and Naya. Let's do that. I think that'll be a fire show. Jacks. Ooh, mediocre. Damn. Excellent. Okay, cool. So we could have a rivalry going on between Bianca and Naya. Let's do that. Let's see here. Six versus Cody Rhodes. One, two, three. Winner is six. Ooh, it was okay. New rivalry, Six and Rhodes. Okay. Roman here with a self promo. And it was good. All right. All right. Me and Seth in a main event spot. One, two, three. Two and a half. It was okay. Cool. And again, we had the better show. We tied up with the opener, we had the better mid-card match, and we had the better main event. Fire. So let's see, viewership quality is a D. Match card quality is C. Star power bonus, 14. Show bonus, zero. Rating score, 85. Promo fan bonus, none. Advertisement, fan bonus, none. New fans, 85,000. Last week's fans, 1,200,000, uh, 561. Fan retention rate, 0.98. Total fans, uh, 1,262,392. Fans change, plus 61,000. Okay, awesome. Revenue, network deal payout, 18,000. Starting cash. So yeah, we still, you know, we still on their tail. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not past them yet, but we, 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 we doing, we, we doing the damn thing. We, we catching up. You know what I'm saying? We, we getting there. We getting there. Anyway. So WrestleMania Backlash. Sonya Deville. Hey Anderson, I uh, just wanted to let you know that I plan on taking SmackDown to the top of the power rankings and staying there. I have the roster and show running capabilities to do it. I don't think Raw stands a chance. You really think you can contend with us when we have superstars like John Cena? Get real. Uh huh. Let's see. Just a reminder try to ensure that your opening match and your main event are both stronger than the mid card match next to them. 
Alrighty. Appreciate the tip. The crowd wants to see a show that starts on a high and ends on a high. Alright, I think I can manage that. Hey, Jason JV, they love us, Anderson. Don't you think it's time to to take the next step? Bruh, are you trying to, bruh, you, 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 you trying to get in bed with another GM? <laughs> bruh, let's go. See, I'm talking, of course, about some better effects packages so that the talent can take the next step into superstardom. It's time for me to shine. Hey. Hey, I'll see to it. Austin Theory. Hey boss, I've been talking with Rollins and I, I, I've been talking with Rollins a lot lately and he had this great idea that we should team up for a tag match. I think we actually make an awesome tag team. Hey, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Because I kind of forgot about Austin Theory. I don't think I booked him in a match yet and that's my bad. Uh, sure, let's see how your team works out. Great, I'll let them know. Can't wait to make our tag team debut. Awesome. And I think, because they, they deserve to shine. So, let's do a tag match with them. Uh, let's see, Rollins and my man, Mr. Theory. They're gonna take on, I say KO and Edge. Don't want match. Let's see here, promo. Um, we'll have Becky Lynch do a promo. That should be good because her skills are at a five. So I think that'll work. Let's see here. Let's get the main event situated. Obviously, we're going to have Romo put his title on the line. Uh, we'll do it against, we'll do it against Cody. I know Rollins, he, well, Rollins originally wanted a main event run, but Theory wanted to form, but I guess now that he changed his mind and wants to form a tag team with Theory, that makes my job a little bit easier. Oh, we can do a special match? They can do the tables, they can do extreme rules. Hell in the cell. TLC. Let's do extreme rules. Title match, extreme rules. I think that would be freaking dope. I think the fans will love that one. First mid card match. Let's see who we got. Who we got? Let's have well, Liv and Rhea have a real rivalry kicking off. So let's have them do a match. Let's have them fight. Ooh, perfect. Cruiser versus Bruiser and it's face versus heel. So that should work. In theory. No pun intended. Um, Mick Hart. Who do we got? Who do we got? Okay, Nia needs to put her title on the line against Bianca. Oh, yeah, that's right, because they have a rivalry. So, yeah, let's do that. Title match. Let's see, do we want to do a tables match? Can't do extreme rules, because we already got that. TLC match. Hell in a Cell. Nah, let's have him do a tables match. That should be fire. See, let's see, let's see, let's see.
Alright. Do some charity work, my guy. Do some ch charity work. That way you're not missing out. Call out. Ben Balor. An edge. Yes. No wait. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that works. That works. Rollins and Austin Theory win. Ooh, mediocre opening. Ouch. Soft promo. Excelente. Let's go. Rhea over Liv. Mediocre. Damn. Hey, your boy doing some charity work. Weak. Man, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Damn. All right, so one of the main events, Nia Jax is defending her title against Bianca Belair in a tables match. Yes, it was good. All right, I'm trying to pick up some steam here. Finn Balor calling out Edge, that was just okay. All right. Just hoping this main event will be a banger. Extreme Rules, Cody Rose versus Roman Reigns. One, two, three. Cody's a new champion, and it was a good match. All right, cool. Sweet. All right, all right. So I think overall we still did better. They had the stronger opening. We were tied for the first mid card match. We had the stronger uh, second mid card match, and then we had the stronger main event. So okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. And uh, boy, we're still. 10,000 fans more or less behind so yeah we gonna have to step it up all right y'all i think this will be a perfect stopping point i think what i'll do is um after we do every pay-per-view uh that'll be like a stopping point for each video so yeah really hope you guys are enjoying the uh the my gm series so far yeah it's been a good minute since i played this and it's a totally different system than i'm used to so uh boy is probably not gonna do that well but i'm gonna do my best the very best i possibly can so yeah bear with me but anyway until next one y'all have a blessed one catch y'all next one peace